The world's landscape is experiencing tremendous stress from the demands to produce both food and energy. When land not naturally suited for agriculture is used to raise corn or soybeans, erosion, soil degradation, and water problems emerge. And ironically, the quest for additional energy often finds prime agricultural land raising crops for fuel rather than food. But there is now an alternative that can restore balance, create new sustainable energy, manage livestock and land resources, all while delivering clean water, restoring habitat, and establishing new crops that deliver fuel in addition to food. And at the center of it all is anaerobic digestion, which has tremendous untapped potential in the U.S. Because I was traveling in Europe quite a bit, I saw this process called anaerobic digestion being implemented in Europe that took animal waste and turned it into energy. It is a proven technology, but it's a natural process. Germany has more than 7,900 anaerobic digestion facilities generating power for nearly 8 million homes. But in U.S. farm country, where there is an estimated 8,200 dairy and swine operations, the opportunity is even greater, potentially creating a new multi-billion dollar sustainable energy industry. Anaerobic digestion naturally breaks down organic matter, creating methane-rich biogas, which can be converted to renewable natural gas to be used as transportation fuel or injected into the natural gas grid system. We're excited because taking waste, turning it into energy. We're fixing a problem, we're producing a valuable product. A partnership between Smithfield Foods hog production and RAE was born to convert manure from nearly two million hogs to renewable natural gas. This project was called Horizon One. After being processed, this clean gas is then compressed in a system before being injected into the natural gas pipeline. This process allows us to capture the energy that the animal didn't use uh, in the feed and convert that into a renewable energy. In addition to the renewable energy that we capture, we're in effect capturing all the emissions from the breakdown of the manure, so that's very positive. And, you know, being able to do that in a profitable manner, I think is fantastic. The environmental benefits include odor control, reduced greenhouse gas emissions, and eliminating rainfall effects from treatment systems. So effectively what's happening is you're taking waste products and rather than letting them naturally decompose and release gases into the atmosphere, you're taking those wastes and capturing that and converting it into energy. After the success of Horizon One, a plan was developed to add harvested native grasses to produce more renewable natural gas, utilizing highly erodible and marginal lands that aren't ideal for planting corn or soybeans. This new energy crop production plan is known as Horizon Two. Anaerobic digestion in Horizon 2 works like this. Livestock manure is mechanically gathered and pumped to a covered lagoon or a continuous stir reactor. Next, native prairie and cover crops are harvested. The harvested biomass is prepared and mixed with manure. The biomass is broken down and converted to biogas. The gas is then cleaned and separated to be sent to the natural gas pipeline for use in homes, businesses, and transportation. It's chemically identical, so if you put renewable natural gas into our national grid system, much like our electricity grid, those molecules can be used anywhere on that system where natural gas is used. Horizon 2 seeks to generate revenue by using land to its fullest potential, sequestering carbon, and cooling the atmosphere by utilizing the amazing root systems of native prairie. Tallgrass prairie once covered 170 million acres in North America. Today, less than 4% remains. 
You don't get just wildlife habitat. You don't get just carbon storage. You don't get just pollinator habitat. You get all of those things and so much more. Prairie planting, they're not just for environmental quality. They're for direct economic benefit to the people who own that land and the communities around that land. Horizon 2 lays the foundation to restore native prairie and all the benefits it provides by establishing financial incentives for landowners. RAE and Smithfield are collaborating to do just that through North Missouri and Southern Iowa. The collaboration seeks to promote native prairie as a biomass that is a financially and ecologically viable alternative for land that is marginal for landowners and farmers. One of the things that we've heard from farmers about why they are considering prairie strips is because they know they have a soil erosion problem on their land. They want to be able to slow that water down or let it infiltrate. So prairie strips fit in with their operation. Uh, overall, what we're trying to do is just increase the number of tools in farmers' toolbox in terms of managing their lands profitably. Anaerobic digestion has made huge steps. The Europeans have accepted it totally. And it's available now. We're worried about how to improve the environment. And I think this is a huge improvement. If we harvest the prairie sustainably, will maintain that stand year over year and it'll continue to give to us in terms of that biomass production year over year. Then wildlife will inhabit those fields and enjoy that habitat. The project shows how using assets that are generally taken for granted as unproductive livestock manure and highly erodible land can actually be both economically and ecologically beneficial. It's a paradigm shift for energy production, the environment, and wildlife. Diversifying landowners' income, they're not just producing corn and beans, they're also producing habitat for wildlife, they're producing a renewable energy source in the form of biomass. Our mission is to be successful in showing America that we can take highly erodible lands and turn them into productive and financial incentives that can replace current farming practices that is not sustainable. It's the model that was developed in Europe, and now we're essentially bringing it to the United States, but also providing additional ecosystem services and improved soil health, water holding capacity. It's gonna potentially increase revenue opportunities for farmers. It's gonna better manage their soil and prevent erosion and runoff into rivers, lakes, and streams. This is a really exciting frontier for the industry and it's an area where Raceline is leading the industry in the development of biomass. Horizon 2 at its full potential will create truly sustainable energy and tens of thousands of jobs in a new industry. Horizon 2 delivers new habitat and clean water. This is our vision in action. Join us on our journey.